all right guys what is up i am back with another video and i took a break but now i'm back at it happy new year's i hope you guys are still grinding same shit different day you know how we doing and for today's video i got my three favorite books my three top books for like mindset masculinity and all that stuff so before i get into this video actually if you guys read books and you guys don't know how to read books I highly recommend it because it has all the knowledge and all the wisdom of one person in a book. So one person lifetime is in one book. And if you read one book every month or every week, you're going to become smart as hell. Your mind is going to think different. Uh, if you can't read five pages in a book without your, like, your mind wandering off, that's a problem. That means you have a dopamine problem and you need to fix that because you won't be able to read these books and your mind wandering off. So what you can do is like meditate, stay in the present and your mind won't wander off. And another key thing is make sure when you guys are reading these books, you implement the ideas because when you read the books and you don't implement the ideas, there's no point. So if you're reading like books on social skills or business or anything like that, make sure as you're reading each chapter, go implement the ideas because if you don't, there's no point of reading books. But without further ado, um, let's get with the first book. All right. So this book is on social skills. If you guys uh, are interested in learning on social skills, I highly recommend this book. How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. This is a really good book. I highly recommend it if you're trying to get your social skills up. Because... You can each chapter you read. You don't even have to read the whole book. Each chapter you read, you, read, you can just go and uh, implement implement the idea that Dale Carnegie says. So get the other person saying yes, yes immediately. This is one of the principles right here, and this will help you build up your social skills. If you don't, if you have bad social skills, this will help you out a lot. This helped me out. It teaches the basics, like sometimes you forget, like rem like the most important things, remembering someone's name, because that their name is like really important. I I actually tried this today. I was working at the restaurant and I remembered this this girl's name, and I was like, yeah, um, your name is Angie, by the way, right? And she's like, yeah, thank you for remembering. Like she was flattered that I remembered because not a lot of people remember names. It's hard, and I used to have a hard time with that, but. If you guys have hard times with names, I I recommend you write the names on the names in your notes. That's what I do so I can remember their names. And next time when I see them, I'm like, oh hey, your name is like Stephanie or like you know uh, Chester or something. And they're like flattered and they're like, oh, what's your name? You know, because they don't feel good because they don't remember your name. But if you remember the name, they're gonna be more happy. And and yeah. Another thing this book says is like, be genuinely interested in them because it makes you become a better listener and you'll be able to influence people better. If you're into sales and you want to make new friends, I highly recommend this book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And it's pretty easy to read. It's not like hard reading like Shakespeare and shit, you know, like I was reading 48 Powers of Law, the, the 48 Powers of Law. And it was like talking about stuff back then. It was pretty hard to read, but this one is pretty easy. Yeah. So this has really good social skills. If you want to build your social skills up. And the next thing, the next book I had to recommend is The Way of the Superior Man. So this book talks about like femininity, masculinity. And nowadays men are more feminine than ever. Honestly, I still have a problem with this. Like I'm, more, I, I'm like... If, if this was like the middle and this was masculine and this was feminine, I think I'd be like more towards the feminine because <clears throat> I'm not more focused on my goals. I'm like focused on relationships, stuff like that, like with girls and stuff. But that's the feminine thing. Like girls are supposed to be focused on relationships and you're supposed to be focused on your grind, on your passion, on your purpose. That's what the book says. So if you're struggling with... uh. If you're struggling to be masculine and you're too feminine, I highly recommend this book. It also talks about like what you should look for in a woman 
and like how to handle feminine energy because most guys nowadays do, they don't know how to handle feminine energy in their women and how to take control yeah and it talks about how to control your sexual urges and how a man is supposed to be and how to like break down women it talks stuff about like that and how to like uh control your sex when you're having sex how to like last longer stuff like that and it talks about your purpose like it says right here your purpose must come before your relationship and most guys don't most guys are like when they find a girl they forget about their purpose they get comfortable i i'm like that when i when i have a girl i get comfortable and it's hard to see out my purpose it talks about the psychology and, and uh, how to live like the superior man as a book, as a title is The Way of the Superior Man. So the next book is Hard Times Create Strong Men. This is really good. I didn't read the whole book because it was getting to religion and I already have a religion. And if you guys don't have a religion, if you guys want to look into that, you guys can look into it. I read about like 300 pages, 200 pages. And... It talks about like the crazy, the universal hot, crazy, universal, like crazy chick. And there's the chart right here. Like if you go too much, she's gonna, if she's too beautiful, she's gonna be crazy. Where you want the middle where she can take care of you, where she can be like a good housewife and she's not crazy. Like, you know, wifey material or like someone to have fun with. It, it says like what women want. and. This book is really good because it quotes it quotes from other books like the way of the superior man and how to win friends and influence people. It quotes other books in this book. So you don't you don't really have to read those books. All all of those all of those uh books is in this cuz he the author quotes other books in this book. And it talks about how men are more weak than ever and we're living on the uh, good times and men are more softer than ever and women are more masculine than ever and men are more feminine than ever. And it talks about his life in the beginning, how <clears throat> he was born in a, a fatherless home, which causes the, which is like the main thing. We don't have a father figure that taught, that teaches us how to be masculine and we're, we're raised by single mothers and were more feminine than ever because of that and it talks about how to choose the woman like choose a woman that chooses you yeah but these are my top three books uh must reads for men nowadays because we need these three books um yeah so these are my three books mas about masculine and feminine energy social skills and hard times great strong men you don't have to read the whole book. I know it's really big. But yeah, these are my three favorite books. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.